Hello great British foodies, we have finally succumbed to the pressure because everyone on Facebook is talking about Heinz beans, but there's a twist, it's pigs in blankets. I'm not sure about that. You're going to end up with soggy bacon on your baked beans and sausage. I feel like the bacon's going to be anemic as well. So this cost £2.50 in the supermarket. Uh, it's 400 grams. Is it 400 grams? Yeah, oh, yeah it 400 so. grams. Now, that does sound like a lot, but I don't think it's actually any heavier than a normal tin of beans and sausage, to be fair. I feel like you just get less beans. Less beans? Yeah. Well, my concern, right, when I looked at the tin, is that how does the actual bacon stay on the sausage? I think we're about to find that out, really. Because I feel like it's going to fall off. It's going to be also... You put it in a pan or you put it in a microwave, right? Yep. This isn't something you oven cook. Bacon is going to go soggy. Who well, microwaves go... the bacon? Well, it was going to go soggy anyway. What if it's in beans? Well, that as well. So you got soggy bacon in a microwave or in a pan, followed by soggy, juicy beans. You're not really selling it to me, are So, you? apart from that, do the beans actually have any different flavour? Nope. So it's just normal just baked beans? Just baked beans, tomatoes... Then pigs in blankets at 19%, 70% pork. So, oh, so it's not even proper, like, sausage. No. This is just, like, makeshift no, sausage. But it's made with Richmond sausages. Oh, you've missed something. Yeah, there is a, there's a oh, Christmas, Christmas seasoning. seasoning. What's a Christmas seasoning? Is it, like, stuffing? just says herb extracts, spice extracts. Spices. So it's, it's herby and spicy. I guess it's meant to be, like, stuffing. So you got stuffing with soggy bacon and beans and sausage. Right, mm. let's get it cooked. We'll probably cook it in the microwave. So it takes two and a half minutes in the microwave on an 850 watt microwave. Heat for one and a half minutes in a covered microwavable container. Stir and then heat for another minute. Sounds Quite good to me. Forward. Right, finally something without a seven step cooking process. Thank God for that. Right, let's get this in the microwave and then let's see what it tastes like. Off I go. So you can see, it's come out of the microwave absolutely steaming. I'm going to put this down because it's really, really hot. That's generally why I always choose a pan, but it just takes so much longer in a pan. Microwave is much easier, but you do end up having the bowl on your lap absolutely piping hot. Why? You're not putting your beans on toast? They make beans on toast. Uh, maybe I'm thinking about soup. You're Mind thinking you. of soup? Yeah, I'm just the type of person. I just have the plate or the bowl on my lap. Right. So, this is Heinz, so this is proper, proper sausage, according to them. Richmond. But it's Richmond. So, yeah, I think they've got a new collaboration with Richmond. You'll have seen the normal Heinz beans and sausage has now transitioned to be Richmond sausage. Um, I prefer Branston, basically, me. Right. It does smell of, like, sage and onion. Is that what Christmas seasoning is? Like stuffing. Smell it. You're dripping oh. it. Oh. Yet again, we have to clean the table because Eliana chooses to drip it all over the table. Well, you come here and okay. smell it. Right. We could have done with a bigger spoon. Right. Oh, it has you some, I mean? some kind of Just scent. Just be careful if it's going to drop. Mmm. It's got... Something to it. Did you say it's got sage in it? You just said herbs. Herbs. <laughs> Great description. That into it. Herbs. I think it's sage. You can you can tell there's a little bit of something to it. It's not overwhelming. If you gave me a spoonful of that blindfolded, I would not have been able to guess that that was sage or any kind of herbs individually. I'd just say it tastes like beans and sausage. So you know how you said about the bacon coming off the sausage. Mm-hmm. Bacon casualty. Right, so we've got beans bacon. and bacon. No, but then this one, the bacon's come off here, but then mm. if you turn it over, it's got bacon. So is it being... What is it? How do they adhere the bacon to the sausage, though? It said it had... Let me see if I can Hold see it up it to the says. camera. You will be able to see that. Let me see if I can get a, be a piece of this. So it says it's got guar gum, which is like a... A what? Guar gum. What's a guar gum when it's... It's like, like a stabiliser... Right, okay. But they can use that to as an adhesive. And it's got corn flour. That would be what they're using, Adam. Corn flour will be sticking to it. That bacon does not taste like bacon. I don't know what that is, but that's not bacon. 
Get it down, you. Whole thing. Oh, I've seen the cross section of these sausages. It's honestly making me feel ill. It's all pink inside. Ooh. You know why that's pink? Looks like a Greg sausage from the, roll. It's from the nitrate of the bacon. The what rate? Nitrate. A nitrate? Yeah, that's the What's chemical. What's a nitrate which, when it's at home? It preserves the bacon. There you go. If you've got some uh, nitrate in your cupboards, then put it on your sausages. It makes it taste... Uh, no, no, makes, makes it, it last longer. Pink. It what? Do it what? Makes it go pink. I don't want pink bacon. I want cooked bacon. Right, what do you think? I need to try another sausage. Pull your chair in so the folks can see you properly. Sorry. Let's have a look. I'm going to try one now. I want this big one. Did you not try sausage? No, I only tried the bacon. Oh, I don't even want to eat it whole. If this was on toast, I wouldn't mind eating it. I just don't eat it like this. Are you one of these people that eats Heinz beans and sausage just out of the tin? Some people at uni used to eat it cold. I'm trying to see if I can show you. There you go. Have you seen? Heard me? What? People used to eat Heinz beans from the tin cold. It's disgusting. If you're one of these people, you need to reevaluate re your life choices. Right, here we go. These sausages are massive. Are they normally this size? I feel like they were smaller when they were normal Heinz. They don't taste of sausage. I haven't tried the um, Richmond sausage yet. Oh. Okay. Um, the texture's a lot different than it used to be. They're not like squidgy like normal sausages. Yeah. They're Rem like hard. I remember when you, you used to be able to get a normal like butter knife. Put your knife through and it just go through like butter. Weren't they like hot dog sausages? Basically. But now they seem... They're definitely not rubbery. meaty. Rubbery. They're, they're more like... Rubbery. Meaty, gelatinous, rubber, basically. Right, can I try some? Yeah. Or she's going to eat the whole thing. Maybe I should... Viewers, let me know in the comments if I should start eating the food. You should start cooking it, then you get first eat privilege. Mm, no, all right. I'll, I'll stick to second in line. What do you think? I'd give it a 7 out of 10. But what about the flavour? Right. Give me some insight. I like the seasoning... It tastes a bit more special than just your standard. Does it? Yeah, because I, I like the herbs. I yeah, but you're anything. not a super taster. I'm a super taster. Oh, hey, oh, Mrs. Professional over here, who's cooking Heinz beans and sausage in the microwave. Not by he's choice. A, he's a pro taste tester. Not by choice. Right. I would say, right, as beans and sausage go, that is a much worse experience than normal. I prefer the... Branston ones that we usually get. Branston, I, I do get that Branston aren't too dissimilar, right, from Heinz. But the taste profile is just different. I can't put my finger on it. And the beans I especially. Like more tomatoey. I just find that the, the Heinz sauce as well. It's very sugary. It's leaving a really weird taste in my mouth. I don't really like that kind it's of weird sugary. taste. There's a hell of a lot of sugar in this tin. Have Don't you got the tin? I bet 35 grams of sugar in the whole tin. Be realistic. No, oh, that's realistic. No. Go on, tell me, how much sugar? 8.5 grams per half a can, so 16.8 16 grams. All right, that's a lot less than I was expecting, but, you know, companies are being told, actually, to tone it down in terms of sugar, right, because of all the sugar tax. Question for you, is the sugar tax just on drinks at the minute yep. in the UK? So how come every company and its dog... Not that they have a dog, but if they had a dog, why do why do they feed this to my dog? Why do they reduce the amount of sugar in it? Um, because sugar's expensive, right? Cheaper to bulk it out with artificial sweeteners, mm. and there was talk about the government putting taxes on other products. Lovely. Oh, it, it, it's a bit weird to cut. I appreciate I'm not using the right utensil. Yeah, why have you not got a knife? <laughs> Before you clever-minded folk in the comments go, well, that's your problem. You're doing it with a spoon. You can cut a hind beans of sausage with a spoon. But, oh, it doesn't taste like... Do you think it tastes Christmassy at all? A bit of seasoning from the herbs, but that's it. Tiniest, tiniest like, amount. I think if they had, you know what would be better? Instead of instead of beans and hinds... I'm cleaning the table. Thanks. Hinds, beans and pigs in blankets... I reckon this is Heinz and beans no, and pigs and blankets. Instead of that, oh, they right. should have done bowls of stuffing. Oh, that would be even worse. No, because then I think it would taste of Christmas and 
doesn't matter that it's <laughs> but, soggy. But, but, but here's, here's my counter to that. They would be submerged in bean juice. Yeah, but it's like when you put gravy on it on Christmas Day and they get all soggy. Yes. However, you don't make the stuffing about six months earlier in the factory and coat it in gravy, do you? Yeah. Am I right? Am I right? Right. I'm going to give it a rating first. I would say... Oh, I've did already you... given my rating. Oh, I said what was seven. yours? Seven? Yeah. I think that's being generous. I would quite happily eat this if you mm. if you gave it to me. I don't think I'd pay £2.50, maybe like £1.25 on club card that, That's the thing, right? I would have given it a higher value. However, it's £2.50. Normal Heinz beans and sausage is £2, I want to say now. I think it is about... I don't buy Heinz. It used to be a pound. Then it changed to £1.50. And now I'm pretty sure it's going up to around £2. It's absolutely ridiculous. We normally get the Branston ones. I just prefer the Branston ones. The sausages in them are much nicer. Weirdly, they've got... Almost the same amount of sugar and salt and all that, but the taste well, profile is different. Well, I think less sugary. Is it? Maybe yeah. a tiny little bit less. It's got more tomato in it. That's just making me feel ill. Yeah, just so I'll get that. rid of that. Get rid of that. I would give it... Considering it's £2.50, I'd say 5 Now, the reason why I say 5 right, you've, you've seen the types of things that we do on the channel, right? We... Some pretty nasty ready meals. We... No. Look, you right. look yeah, back but... at that... We Look at that, that just no, you, sweet no, and you, sour. No, remember that microwave, microwave um, breakfast that you said who microwaves their bacon? Kershaw's. That person, yes. Oh yeah. You were right, that person, right? But go back in the channel. We had something like what was it, eighty nine p ready meals? Like we oh, had sweet, sweet and, and sour, sour, something else, and it was a full meal, and it actually tasted good. Instead, you can pay two pound fifty and get this bowl of sludge. Honestly, it's. I'd rather eat porridge, and I hate porridge. That, you that's not awful. like porridge. I hate porridge. Yeah, but what happens if you put like Nutella in it? That makes it so much nicer. Well, I might as well just eat Nutella on toast if I'm no. doing that. It's not really healthy, is it? It is. <laughs> what do you think? That, what do you think, viewers? Have you tried this? If you've tried it, please let us know in the comments. Tell Would us you your rating. Would recommend it for two pound fifty? That's absolutely rip. I actually saw one person on Facebook they were paying £3 why were they buying it for £3 it must have been way true you know with the trolley pushers and <laughs> M&S and all that no offence if you're a trolley pusher but you know I, I would rate that on a say a 5 I think we need to find something that is Christmas themed that's going to beat that not now, like the pot noodle well here's the thing right you guys did vote on the poll recently we gave you the option do you want to see Heinz pigs in blankets with Christmas seasoning whatever that Christmas evening is, and the pot noodle Christmas edition, which was turkey and stuffing. Turkey and stuffing and gravy. Pot Richard. Noel. Mm. So we're going to give you the full review after this video. So if you subscribe to the channel, you'll see the next video in a couple of days will be now the pot noodle. But we need to go back to the supermarkets and I think go to the drawing board and find something Christmassy that actually does taste that, of Christmas. That chocolate brownie mince pie from m and there's no mince pie in it. It's just pastry mm. with chocolate brownie. I think we'll do that then, and we'll also get something gravy. Something in gravy. I don't know what, but... Do you love gravy? Oh, gravy. It's that time of year. As soon as it goes cold, You're like, get, your get gravy the slow cooker on, put the stew in, I'm like, no, thank you. Nice, hearty, warming stew. Can't beat it. But until then, please leave your suggestions down in the comments. We do read each and every one of your comments, and we really do appreciate it. Thank also, you. if you haven't already, please thumbs up the video. If you really enjoyed it, it really does help us out. And make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any Great British Foodies content coming up. We've got some really exciting things starting every month. Do you want to tell the viewers? Oh, should we spoil it? Nah, let's let's keep a few surprises. We've got a few surprises for you. I think as the videos start playing out, we'll reveal our little surprises. We're going to get a little routine going, and we think we've got some great ideas that you'll really, really enjoy. So if you haven't already, like Eliana says, please subscribe, like the video, comment your suggestions, and we'll see you soon. Bye for now. Bye.